<laughs> so I rode into school today thinking uh, I was going to motovlog a little bit, uh, but I realized that my motovlogging microphone is not working again. It's actually like the little adapter piece that's not working. So instead, we're just gonna go on a little lab adventure today. You're gonna get to do another science vlog with me and I'll tell you some updates. Lots of exciting updates. I hope that housekeeping doesn't come in here and think I'm crazy. They probably will. Okay, so since I can't really uh, moto vlog, I figured I will just clean my lab bench and also just show you a part of my lab while we're here. <laughs> I've already made a science moto vlog before, but some of you like that are new around here have asked me what I do. Uh, I'm a PhD student, I'm doing science. I work a lot with DNA and sequencing that DNA and doing analysis on that DNA afterwards. That's called bioinformatics. Yeah, so we use all kinds of like fancy reagents and stuff to prep our samples. This is like, part of my bench where I work, but I have a different place that I also work. Oh boy, do I have a lot of updates since we last talked. Where are my sanitizing wipes? But first, let's go find the wipes. The wipey wipes, I think they're in here. Here we go, we're gonna clean everything. I'm so excited, I like cleaning you guys. I don't know what's wrong with me. So there's a couple of new things that have been happening, but the first and most important thing is that I got invited to go to Revzilla's Motorcycle Festival, MotoFest, in Texas with a bunch of other cool motovloggers. Thank you, Motorcycle Gods, for favoring me today. Yeah, basically a bunch of other cool motovloggers that I've watched, like, for years now, like Motonocity, Walterific, Yami Noob, Doodle! Doodle's gonna be there! I'm gonna get to meet Doodle, and Her Two Wheels is gonna be there, and a bunch of other people. I'm sure I'm missing them. It's a long list, but they're all listed on the Revzilla website, so uh, if you want to see the full list of motovloggers that's coming, go check that list out. It's gonna be May 21st to the 23rd, so full three days, and the tickets to get in for like the full three day is just like $30, I think, if you want to... It's less than that if you don't want to go to like the flat track race. There's a race happening that weekend, but if you want to get passes to like the race too then I think it's like $30 or something like that insanely cheap especially if you live around that area so I hope you guys come out meet all your favorite moto vloggers I'd love to say hello to you guys and yeah I'm so excited <laughs> oh, okay calm down calm down okay second cool update a few weeks back I don't know if you guys remember I did a moto vlog on an app called Tunnet which is for riders that want to connect with other riders and finding group rides, things like that. It's basically like an Instagram, but for motorcycle riders, it's like less, less curated like Instagram and more like real, I would say. Anyways, if you want to check that video out, I'll have it linked here in the cards and also at the end, but they're coming out with a new feature. So they're coming out with ride tracking. This has happened to me before where I'll be riding and then I find a nice road that's like twisty and windy and I really like it and I'd like to come back to it someday but I can't because I, I like don't remember where it's at. If you have ride tracking turned on you'll know all that information. Plus you'll get things like your top speed, elevation change and things like that and eventually you're gonna have the option to like either make that ride public if you want to help others out so that they can see where you've been riding or you can make it uh, private if you just want to share it with yourself. For me personally I would probably just keep my rides on private for now unless it was something like really awesome because I'm not really about like tracking my rides when I'm really close to home, but you will have that privacy option. As the weather is getting warmer, like the events on the maps feature they have around me, it's getting more populated, so there's more cool events coming up. There's a bunch near me. I think the one in Texas is also on the map, so you can go find it on Tanit as well. If you're interested in the app, there is a link in the description of the video to download it. All our update, you guys. Yeah, I sold uh, the Ninja 250, like about two weeks ago. Ninja 250 is no more. Not gonna lie, it was a sad day. I think I got attached to that thing. I had it for like a long time. Is that normal? Are you supposed to like cry over the bikes that you sold? I didn't cry, but like, I didn't cry. Okay, I didn't cry, but I was sad. I was like bummed out as I was walking home. Maybe it's weird if you don't have any sad feelings when you sell your bike. I don't know, you tell me which side of the spectrum you guys are on. Yeah, personally, I am on the sad side. <laughs> I had to sell the Ninja 250 because I'm moving and I don't have space for two where I'm moving, but I'm really excited to just like, train and get better on Spicy Boy. And speaking of getting better and training on Spicy Boy, I'm actually taking a intermediate riding course by the people that teach the total control classes. Uh, actually, I'm doing that tomorrow. So when this video is up, uh, I'll, be, I'll be at that course. I'm gonna try to film a little bit, but I don't have like my motor vlogging helmet for that course. And I don't have like all of my cameras. I have this camera, the G7X Mark III that I'm filming on. And then I have the little hero session. So between the two of those, I'm gonna to try to get some footage from the intermediate riding course for you guys, but uh, no promises because I'm first and foremost just there to learn how to be a better rider and I will worry about the mode of vlogging 
as I can. But it's kind of cool because uh, it's like classroom instruction for three hours and then they take you out on the range for a couple more hours and you get to practice. So uh, I've never actually done any practice on Spicy Boy before and I'm a little bit scared just because I can't touch the ground as well uh, on Spicy Boy as I could on the Ninja 250. So I am actually a little bit less comfortable being on Spicy Boy. Uh, just because of that. But I'm really hoping that the intermediate riding course is gonna give me a little bit more confidence. If you're a new rider, at least if you're in Pennsylvania like me, all these basic rider courses, intermediate riding courses, and advanced riding courses are free. The basic riding course, you don't even need a motorcycle for because that's the course you take if you wanna get licensed to ride a motorcycle. But the intermediate and advanced riding courses, all you do is make sure you have like a bike that passes inspection and like bring your own gear and you learn on your own bike, but it's free. It's literally free, there's no excuse, there's no reason why you shouldn't take it. You have to sign up ahead of time, like I had to sign up in March just to get a spot in May. If you have the opportunity, like please take it, please learn to be a better, safer rider and seek out these opportunities because you never know when they can save your life. Let me show you what I'm doing. I'm organizing the balancing rack, basically when you use like a centrifuge, this thing that spins, really fast if you put like something on this side of it you can't just leave it like that you have to balance the other side as well or else it will like get thrown out of whack yeah same with this thing this thing sp spins too there's more if you follow me on instagram you'll see that i did a couple stories where i was in a motorcycle garage and i was basically helping a group of other uh riders to fix the garage up kind of clean up get it renovated and i asked you guys here in the youtube community tab if you would be interested in perhaps seeing like a vlog of cleanup and stuff like that and a bunch of you said yes so i might make a vlog in the future but the motorcycle club garage is like nowhere near ready so it wouldn't be very interesting for me to like do anything right now. I'm mostly thinking like some time lapse stuff, just kind of showing you around. A couple of you guys have asked me how to join like the motorcycle club. Uh, that's not my decision to make, sorry. And I like don't really want to give too much information about it out because I'm not sure what like the other members of the club are comfortable with. Uh, and also like not, not the location or anything because there's motorcycles in that garage. I'm not trying to be the one that's responsible for them getting robbed, ooh. Okay, let me check on my analysis real quick because uh, it was running in the background, gotta make sure it's still running. It's still running. <laughs> a lot of science is just waiting around for experiments to finish up, things to incubate, or analyses to run. There we go, I finished the space. That looks a lot better than it did before. Like literally sometimes it'll just be me at night in the lab and I will just like clean. <laughs> oh goody, my analysis finished. <laughs> Actually, that's all the updates I had to give for you guys. I really hope to see you at the motorcycle festival. If you're in Texas around the Dallas area, please come out, say hi. Sometimes you get to feel like you're in a bubble. You don't really feel like you're speaking to 50,000 people. Like in my case, it's 50,000, but for others, it's like way more than that. So yeah, please come out and say hello. In the meantime, uh, back to work for me. It's 7.54 PM. Ah. <laughs> Anyways, if you're a nerd like me and you wear glasses, check out the video I did on motorcycle helmets you can wear for glasses. Uh, otherwise, check out the video that I did on Tunnet on the app and go download it if you haven't. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!